To get started, I will be using seven hatch green chilies. These are mild. When I went to the store, they had bags of hot and they also had mild. I decided to go with mild and to control the heat of the stew, I'm gonna add a jalapeno as well. But if you like spicy, go for the hot ones. Okay, so here I am placing my hatch green chilies on an open flame and I'm just going to char the skin. And after all the skin is charred, I'm going to place it in a grocery bag and just let it sweat inside the bag. You could also place them in a bowl and cover it with a lid and just let them set for 15 minutes. So I am just going to do all seven chilies this way, turning them and charring the skin. By the way, you could also put these in a broiler or you can just heat up a, a cast iron skillet or a comal and char them that way as well. Okay, so all of my chiles are done, and here they are. I put them in a grocery bag, and I'm just going to enclose them and let them set for like 15 minutes, and then start peeling the skin. Okay, so I'm done with peeling all the skins off of the chiles. So now what I'm going to do is give them a rough chop. And I'm also going to go on to other ingredients. Here, I'm just going to roughly chop a jalapeno. And again, if you like a spicier green chili stew, use the hot hatch green chilies and then maybe add some serrano peppers for heat. So I'm basically going to make a salsa. Now, if you are doing more of an authentic New Mexico style green chili stew, which is sort of what I'm going for, you, you probably just wanna give all your ingredients a rough chop and stew it together, not necessarily blend it and make a salsa out of it. But I'm going to also add a half of a medium sized onion, roughly chopped, that's going into the blender with the green chilies. I'm going to add the roughly chopped jalapeno. Again, you want spice go for serrano peppers. I'm also going to be adding four cloves of fresh garlic minced. Next, I'm going to be adding one teaspoon of Mexican oregano. I'll also show you the brand that I use. I know sometimes you guys ask the brands of ingredients I use. That goes into the blender and I am using Adams uh, Mexican oregano. Again, the brand sort of changes. I like to buy what's on sale. I'm also going to be adding a half cup of water just to get things moving along in the blender. Now I'm just going to cover it with a lid and blend all of the ingredients. Again, I will mention that if you don't want to blend your ingredients, you can dice and chop all of your ingredients and stew it that way. Okay, after blending all of those ingredients, I ended up with around three cups of this green chili salsa, I guess I could call it. Okay, I'm also going to be using two and a half to three pounds of pork shoulder. I've just cubed it all. I will also be adding four cups of chicken broth. I basically had four cups of hot water and per cup I added one teaspoon of powdered chicken bouillon base. Next, I will be using four ounces of crushed tomato. You could also use three to four Roma tomatoes and dice them again, dice all ingredients and stew. Here I have two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of ground cumin, and two teaspoons of onion powder. I will also be using three 
gold potatoes. You could use russet or use what you have. I had gold potatoes and these are medium sized potatoes. I will be dicing them just like this. These are a larger dice. I kind of made them a bit chunky. So now I'm going to start browning all of my pork meat. And I have to mention, I'm never short of company in the kitchen. I always have a little one that likes to look on as I cook. See over there. <clears throat> Whoops, it looks like I forgot to cut one piece of meat, but it's okay. It's all going to stew and get soft and tender. So I'm going to just continue browning the meat. In the meantime, I'm going to add my dry seasonings of garlic powder, ground cumin, and onion powder, and just continuing to brown the meat and stir everything together. I did forget to mention this, but I will be adding salt and ground pepper to taste. I do think it's flavored well with the chicken broth, but towards the end, if I find that it needs salt, you, you know, you can add salt to taste. Now I am going to add my potatoes and I am going to continue sauteing and cooking everything together, probably for another five to 10 minutes. Bo. Bo, here. You wanna pretend to cook? Let's pretend to cook. There you go. Okay, so now I'm adding the rest of my ingredients. Here I'm adding everything that was in the blender and to make sure I get all of that hatch green chili goodness, I'm going to add some chicken broth and swirl it around the blender to make sure it all comes out. Okay, so now that that's in the pot, I'm just going to combine it well with the meat and potatoes. And I do want to mention, you'll notice that because I blended most of the ingredients, it's going to come out with a thicker consistency to the body of the stew. Now, if you are used to that delicious New Mexico authentic green chili stew, where it has more of a brothier, looser, liquidy stew with chunks of meat and potato, go for it, it is delicious. Okay, so now I'm adding the chicken broth and I again, I'm going to combine everything well. And at this point, I am just going to wait for the stew to come up to a low medium simmer and then I'm going to cover it with a lid and cook it. Okay, so now my stew is up to a rolling simmer. I'm going to cover it with the lid, lower the heat, and cook for 45 minutes, or until the potatoes and pork meat are soft and tender. Okay, it has been cooking and stewing for 45 minutes, and as you can see, the fat has floated to the surface, and I'm just going to skim it out before serving. But at this point, my stew is done. Now to serve alongside the stew, I made a batch of delicious homemade soft flour tortillas. Now I've redone my original video if you haven't seen that already. And I'm going to put the link to the new video that sort of goes into depth detail of how I'm making my flour tortillas uh, and try to answer some of the questions that some of you had in the original video, maybe to help you guys out. So 
I can't wait to taste this green chili stew in here. I'm just testing the potato. It cut in half, so it's done. I'm going to serve a delicious bowl, again, alongside delicious homemade flour tortillas and have dinner. So I certainly hope you guys give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.